Hello everyone, I think I'm going to call it uh, a week here, I'm just going to take a week off this week with the Pokemon videos, but instead, I'm going to show you off my uh, Bakugan collection that I have so far, and uh, let me know if these kind of videos are what you're looking uh, to see, I definitely have a lot of interesting stuff up in my uh, my rooms nowadays, so, we're going to start the Bakugan collection, I guess let's start here, we've got a Garganoid, right there, Chaos Garganoid, I got this one, it looks cool, it's big, it's kind of complex, um, you don't see these in stores anymore. And uh, I am Canadian, so these Bakugan are not easy to find. We are still seeing, you know, Krakeliosis. Uh, like, these are the most recent ones we're seeing. I don't even see the Dragonoids anymore in the non-core version. So that's a Chaos one. I like it because of all the hands it has. Here is a Gorthion. Why did I get this one? I think it looked cool, but at the same time it looks really basic. But uh, it was one of the newer sets that I saw, even though it's, like, still set 2 or something. Um, here we have the Trox. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Everyone needs a Trox in their life. It's a really cool back on. I still see, like, I don't see them often, but I still, well, I went to his Us the other day and I still saw him. Here's a Fangzor. Again, this is an Aurelis, so that's the reason I got it. Um, mainly because of the, the large size of this Bakugan and just kind of how it looks really interesting. And again, like you can see here, I have a lot of Bakugan just flip, so flipped up, but that's older generation. This is newer generation. So I like this one. Nice colors. Just an interesting Bakugan. And the first one I got is a Mantanoid. So if you go to Toys R Us here in Canada, you still might find these. Uh, Walmart doesn't really have them anymore. This is the original green one, Ventus. Um, again, one of the first ones I got. So now we got some cores. I don't have a whole ton of them, but I have a few. I have a Dragonoid. Always got to have the Dragonoid. This is a classic Bakugan. If you don't have this one in your collection, just go pick it up. It's always going to be a, a good piece. I got a Ventus Dragonoid too, just because the color looks sick. I had There's a Darkness Darkest one, and I saw an Aurelis one the other day. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get those necessarily, but that's a Ventus one. I thought it was pretty rare too when I found it, so I just picked it up. Here's something interesting. I found this at Walmart um, here in Canada. And um, it's a double pack with two cores for Cyndius and Trihorn. Now, I haven't seen a Trihorn um, main version. I haven't even seen the Trihorn, uh, <laughs> Trihorn core ever. I've seen, I think I've seen the Cyndius before, but no, we have the big Cyndiuses. Um, but it's a Walmart exclusive, apparently, and it's a Orlis Trihorn. So that's an interesting pickup. Uh, there's a few other there, but a lot of the cores you can just pick up normally. All right, so we're going to move on to my diamonds. These are all diamonds that I found in person. I bought none of these online, and I'm very proud of my diamond collection. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. It's a really, really awesome kind of group that I found here, especially considering finding these guys were hard enough as is. My first diamond, we have the Diamond Hydorus. I found this one my first time going out looking for Bakugan. It was at Walmart. It was just standing there. I think it was even at the front of the whole thing, so I got pretty lucky on that one. And uh, I'm very, like, this is a nice Bakugan to have in my collection. I think next off, we found, uh, I found another Diamond Hydorus. This one I went to Canadian Tire after a guy made a YouTube video, and he was like, oh, go to Canadian Tire. So I went to Canadian Tire. They had, like, literally unpacked, and nothing was touched yet, and this was there. So it looked like a fresh restock, and that's how I picked up my second Diamond Hydorus. After that, the next one to join the collection was this Diamond Maxitor pack. So I got this one at the same time as this Diamond Hydorus, because you can tell there's the ticket here and I couldn't even get this one. I couldn't buy this one for crying out loud because the thing is blocking the, the barcode, right? So I picked up this Diamond Maxitor at the same place as the Diamond Hydorus, the first one. Again, this was really this was a really good find, mainly because you don't like, you don't find triple packs often to start with let alone a diamond, and apparently the way they restock it is, is <laughs> well trust me, I go there every couple days, it's not a, it's not an often restock. Here is a diamond dragonoid, as you probably saw throughout the video. This one was, I was very happy, it was probably like three months since my last, since the Max Tour came into the collection. I went to Canadian Tire just on a whim, I haven't, I've been visiting them for like the past five months and they haven't been restocking, haven't been restocking, all of a sudden they can show up, looks like it's a restock, this is behind like four Bakugan in the back and I was so happy when I read the diamond like when I saw diamond I was ecstatic like you don't even know because it's the first time I found one of these uh, it's the same place I found this high doors actually but it's been a while since I found one so I was really happy and then yesterday you know what I go I go to Toys R Us 
I never go to Toys R Us. They don't have nothing. They barely have anything there. They never restock. There's never anything good. It's all Wave 1 stuff that's been out, and the Americans are getting, like, Wave 5. And I'm just like, well, whatever. Let's go visit. So I'm looking, looking in the usual spot, nothing. And then I look around, I'm like, they have a centerpiece kind of, like, in the middle of the aisles. Or, like, in the middle of the main aisle. I'm like, they have a centerpiece with a lot of Baku on there. So I go look at the cores, nothing. I look at the, um, the Ultras, and I'm looking, looking, looking at the bottom... I go behind one, I think it was a Cindius, and I found the Diamond Trox. This is an amazing pickup. I am so happy to have this one in my collection just because of how cool it's looking, and I like Trox to start with and having a Diamond one myself. So I paid retail for all these diamonds, and a lot of them are going for like 80 plus Canadian, or like 50 more so. And, uh, yeah, very good collection so far. But let me know what you think, because I do have a lot of other Bakugan that are outside the packaging and just kind of chilling, and I can definitely show these off if you want. But again, if you like this content, just let me know, and we'll start going through a lot of my collection and uh, just kind of show off the various things I have. Like, look at all my Amiibos. Look at my games over there. Yeah, let me know.